Hello everyone, we are from JKT2D, we present to you our final project on Bangkit, and start it with a big question, is your food fresh or not? This project is delivered by us, Ahmad Emir al student of Universitas Sriwijaya Palembang, Anggarda Febriano, student of Universitas Indonesia Jakarta, and Zahro Ayuhumair, private employee Jakarta. But first, let me tell you a story. Ayu was in a fruit shop at the traditional market to buy fruits that will be brought to visit her grandmother. She had to choose the fresh ones because her grandmother has a quite sensitive stomach. But she found it difficult to determine which fruit was fresh because she rarely shop at the traditional market. She needs a way to check, is the fruit fresh or not? We somehow often experience this kind of situation in our daily life. From here, we get the idea to create a fresh and rotten fruit predictor. From the problem before, we need to predict the fruit's freshness. With machine learning, we think the most proper solution is to create a classifier model. By creating a classifier model, it can receive inputs and predict whether the fruit is fresh or rotten. For this project, we use the fruit fresh and rotten for classification dataset from Kaggle. The dataset contains images of apple, banana, and orange that is divided into fresh and rotten. In total, there are six classes. Fresh apples, fresh banana, fresh oranges, rotten apples, rotten banana, and rotten oranges. Then why did we choose this dataset? We have some reasons. The first is its uniqueness. We consider this dataset is unique because it also consists of rotten fruits. It will enrich our dataset to classify the fruit, not only recognize the fruit. Suitable because the dataset fits the idea that we offer. Third, sufficient because this dataset has a proper amount of data to be applied in our model. And the last but not least, it's feasible because the quality of this dataset are good enough for further processing. In addition, this dataset also has a potential to be improved. And for the baseline, we use transfer learning inception v3, so we will get the result in six classes as we mentioned before. Here is the example of the result we've got. Uh, what if you want to try checking the freshness of fruits other than apples, banana, and oranges? So let's give it a try. But before we start, here are our hypotheses. We believe that existing fruits from the dataset, apple, banana, and orange, can be predicted into two classes, fresh and rotten. Later, it can be generalized to determine the freshness of other kind of fruits. Why did we choose this improvement? On the previous slide, the baseline model can predict fresh or rotten fruit of apple, banana, and orange. And when we try to predict another type of fruit, it also gives us the right prediction. And based on that, we can assume that we can extract the feature of fresh and rotten fruit for all types of fruit just from our existing dataset. This will certainly have more significant impact because of there will be more type of fruit that can be predicted. The first thing we do after choosing the dataset is data preparation. We do image augmentation to generate more data. We take some process to the image such as rescaling, width and height shifting, shearing, zooming, vertical and horizontal flipping, and reflecting the image. And here is the result of the image augmentation. Then we go to the technique. We use VGG16 instead of Inception V3 from the baseline model. The reason is VGG16 has a pre-trained model and a huge dataset with a lot of diverse image categories. Also, VGG16 has a less layer than Inception V3 that consists of 13 convolutional layers and two fully connected hidden layers, which makes the model smaller than Inception V3. So, this can save storage space in the cloud. When we train the neural network by freezing all layers in the transfer learning using the VGG16, we get a better result. 
after the training, we can see from the training validation accuracy and loss graph shows a good result. The validation accuracy is 92% better than the baseline model accuracy using Inception V3. Then we go to the result of all fruit prediction tests. After the test, our model got 94.9% accuracy. It agrees with the hypothesis that the baseline model can be improved to predict fruit freshness for many types of fruit. With a fairly high degree of accuracy, we really hope our model can be used to predict. And for further improvements, it is expected that the prediction process will be easier and more reliable. We can see this is how our application predicts some fruits. We use Google Colab for this project and use cookies.txt extension from Google Chrome to download the dataset cookies and use it to download the dataset into the Google Colab. Then we will go to the local implementation of the proposed idea. From IU and her grandma's problem, we may realize that only a few people have skills to determine is the fruit still fresh or rotten already. In daily basis, we will need this skill to First, picking up the best fruit from self-service fruit shop and the second, ensuring the condition of fruit stock at the home before it. Just imagine, there is an app to determine whether the fruit is fresh or rotten. It has a stable and working mode also with a very good UI and UX. IU and people like IU will be very happy because she can choose the fruit easily and make grandma also happy. Indonesia is fruit paradise. There are several endemic tropical fruits that only exist in Indonesia. This will be a good potential to enrich the data of our machine learning model. Indonesia produces fruits for export and also for local consumption. But Indonesia is still low in food consumption. Indonesians should eat more fruits. Based on Bali Bangkas in 2016, Indonesian people consumption of fruits and vegetable consumption are still below 100 tons per year. In contrast to Indonesia, Singaporean fruit consumption is above 300 tons per year. Of course, this condition can affect public health and the disease there are caused, including stroke, heart disease, diabetes, and other degenerative diseases. Further enrichment of this app can be used as a strategy to raise society awareness and increase food consumption. It will be very possible in the future if this app can be equipped with information about fruit and packed with gamification method so that it will be more attractive to younger generation. We already started this by creating the prototype. Still needs improvement before it's ready for the production. It is simply taking the picture of the fruit or uploading the image, then wait for a while to get the result. And let's jump in them. We love to create a value for people, and we wish you happiness. Enjoy your fresh and healthy fruits. Thank you.